attention. This guide is a serious guide, but with jokes that you shouldn't take seriously. Please don't really do anything I say in real life. It could cause major pain and or arrest. Please never go knocking a man out and try to steal his life savings. Thank you. Hello, people of the internet. I'm FateV2 Gaming, and I'm here to show you guys how to blackjack. Blackjacking is the skill on RuneScape where you knock a guy out and steal his life savings all in one quick click. This guide will show you how to do it. What you have to do, what you need, what you should eat, how to get wasted, what else you should do. Dun dun dun. So, let's get started right now. First things first, what you'll need a blackjack. Big surprise, huh? You get a blackjack from completing the feud quest. It's a pretty simple quest. The only hard part is that for skillers, you do have to beat a boss, but you don't have to complete the quest to get a blackjack. All you have to do is get up to the part where you learn how to blackjack. Once you do that, you can take your blackjack and go start beating the snot out of people. So, what you're going to want to do is have your blackjack. There's many different kinds. Oak, willow, maple. I like maple because I like maple syrup. The one you get from the quest is actually oak. You can upgrade with doing mini quests or something, but the main thing you want is any kind of blackjack. It really doesn't matter. You're going to also want food because you could die here. Somehow, people don't like it when you start beating them upside the head and trying to steal their money. So you will need food, but I'll show you how to do noted food or self-sustaining way. Now, let's get right into how to blackjack. Now that you have all your gear, you got to decide what kind of bandit you want to start beating up on. And it all depends on your level. If you're level 45 thieving, you do a level 41 bandit. If you're level 55 thieving, you do a level 56 bandit. And if you're level 65, you get to go and do thugs. We'll do thugs at the end. First, let me show you how to get him. You want to take this 41 level and lure him. All you're going to hit is lure, and he'll say, what is it? It's a surprise, and you follow him, and he'll follow you. All you have to do, bring him to a house. Doesn't matter which one, really, just any kind of house that has a door, because you're going to bring him in... Lock the door behind him, and what you're going to do then, wh where is he? There he is. What you're going to do, knock him out, and then pickpocket him. You can do it twice if you're fast enough. You might not have time, and you could get caught this way, so do it on your own risk. But what you want to do, you're going to just hit knock out and hover over the pickpocket icon until you he is on the ground. Oh, he caught me. See, he starts fighting me. So what you're going to do, close the curtain, run outside, and just run away. I'll show you how to prevent that, but right now I'm just showing you the runaway method. It's pretty simple. You just run for your life. So, is he bad? Nope, he's not mad anymore. What you do is you just come back in here, close the curtain, and you're going to... Uh, 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 there, there's two? No, never mind. Okay, so you're going to hit knockout, pickpocket, hover over, pickpocket. You did it. Oh, he didn't, he didn't do it in time. You got caught. So... If he stuns you, nothing's the matter. If he says, I'll kill you, what you're going to want to do is pickpocket him right away. I'm going to try and get it to do that to me, actually. See, he said, I'll kill you. Pickpocket him right away. See, he caught me again, but he isn't aggroed. If you do not pickpocket him, he will aggro on you, and you'll have to run away. So, you're going to knock out, pickpocket, pickpocket. Knock out, pickpocket. I'm trying to get, get him to catch me, but I guess I'm too good. <laughs> okay, so you're going to mostly wanting to be hovering over the options every time, and mostly you're going to be hovering over the pickpocket option. That, see, I'll kill you. You have to hit pickpocket right away. He caught me again, but at least he's not aggroed, so I can stay in this room. That's why you have to have so much food. It's really easy for people with health, but skillers, you just have to watch your health so much, so be warned. Now let's go on to the next level, Blackjack. Okay, so you successfully beaten up this guy so much that you got into level 55 thieving. Congrats! Now you can beat up his older brother. The only weird thing is, level 56, if you look at them, the only difference, they don't have a beard. So, good job, RuneScape. You actually made it so if you don't have facial hair, you're manlier. What? What is? What world is that? Okay, so I already lured this guy into this house. This has to be the best house to have him in, because see, he can get caught here, here, and if he does catch you and aggro on you, all you have to do, click right there, run up the ladder, run back down. He won't be aggroed, and you don't even have to leave, so he can never escape, because this curtain will never open. So, you're going to do the same thing. Knock out, pickpocket, pickpocket, knock out, 
pickpocket, pickpocket. Now it's the same thing as before. It's very simple. Just remember to hover over the icon. Don't try and click on it real quick because whatever you're going to have to do, you're probably going to pickpocket him either way. Even if he catches you, you still need to pickpocket him just to de-aggro. So, it's the same way. See, he caught me, but he's not going to attack me because I failed pickpocketing, not knocking him out. It's kind of confusing, but hopefully after a while you'll understand it. So, let's go, and I'll show you now how to do THUGS. Alright, so in the southern part of the city, you might be saying, why is a circus here? Well, these aren't circus people, they're actually called Memphonite thugs, and they're going to be where you're blackjacking. It's, they're level 65 thieving to blackjack, but they have the best XP rates. Now, you're going to want to take them usually in this little building here. It's probably the best one. There's usually a guy in here from other people blackjacking, but you guessed it. It's the same way. Oh, he catches you a little bit more often because he's a higher level, but he is worth it. You can get 200k XP from him, I believe. So you're just going to knock him out, pickpocket, pickpocket, and you just keep doing that. If you stay here for about an hour, I stay here, and I've done this, and I've gotten around 80k GP. I'm 75, so I'm a little bit higher level than what I should be, but it's still worth it here. This is a really good training place. So now I'm going to show you guys where to get, or how to get here, and where you get some food. Okay, so after about an hour of this, or maybe even, you know, five minutes, depending on how lucky you are, you might be saying, oh my gosh, I'm about to die, how do I get food? Well, it's pretty easy. You get money, so, duh. All you have to do is bring noted food, and then you trade this guy right here in the middle, you sell some food, and buy it right back, and voila, you can buy it and have food. And because you're making money the whole time, you get raw profit. I mean, you have to sell to your food to get it, but who cares? You're making money from knocking a guy out. So, the other way where you don't even need to bring your own food, all you need to bring is a blackjack, yourself, and maybe a little bit of money to start out with, you go to this bar guy and say, yes, I want a drink, hit me up with some... Uh, drink. Drank. Yeah. So, you can buy some whiskey, that heals 5, you can heal jug of, bleh, jug of wine, that heals 11, so this is what I use all the time. You can use vodka and brandy, they both heal 5 each, but the thing, it'll lower your attack like all the alcoholic beverages do in RuneScape, and after a while you'll get to level 0 attack, so don't be trying to beat up anything after you get done with this, you'll probably die. And... Well, it's a coincidence. That's how you get it back up. If you have high attack and you don't feel like waiting for it to go back up, it's easy. Just go die. Go fight something and die. It'll, you'll respawn and you'll have full attack. It's really kind of demented, but, you know, it'll work. So, that's how you do the food situation. And then what you're going to want to do, you're just going to completely come over here, keep blackjacking him. Oh, I got hit. Get wasted on some wine. Oh, I got hit again. Get wasted on some vodka. Yeah, you just keep doing that the whole time. It's pretty simple. So, now that you do... No, blah, 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 uh, this desert, blah, this desert, blah, desert sand is getting to my throat. That's why you always bring a water skin, too. <laughs> so, let me just show you guys how to get here now. <laughs> so, there's a couple of ways you can actually get to Polynevic. I don't know how you pronounce it. I'm just saying Polynevic. I'm probably butchering it. I am sorry. So, the first way, if you're super rich, like... I'm not. Well, you can buy a house, and when you get to a certain level, you can make your portal right here. So all you do is go to your house, pop out here, just start beating up a guy, take his money, and go back home. Pretty simple. The other way is taking the magic carpet ride, and all you have to do, it costs 200 GP. You talk to this guy right here, tell him to talk to you, well, actually, this is how you get back. So you pay him 200 GP, and you start riding this. You... Well, you look like a little hippie guy, actually, flying around on your almost little carpet, but it's pretty simple. You're just going to fly all the way over here. You're going to go all the way back to Shanty Pass, where near Lumbridge and Alcaharid, and you're going to have a bank there. That's where I would personally bank some of your money, because I've died out here before with, like, 50k on me. It's not fun when you can't get back here in time. So, just bank, like, make a goal and bank every certain number of monies, but that's how you get back. So now you're going to say, how do you get there? Well, you go to Lumbridge. You come to Alcoharit. You go south of Alcoharit. You come to this guy. Buy a pass for 5 GP. Yes, this is also where you buy your water skin, your money. Well, not money. You can't buy money with money. That doesn't work. Desert shirt, desert robe, and desert boots. That's how you do that. You pass through here with your ticket. Then you walk back over here. 
hit travel with this nice monkey man, hit Polynevic, and you go back there. It's pretty simple, right? So that's how you get to Polynevic. The other way is walking if you don't want to spend 200 GP because you're such a cheapskate, but you got Untheka, and then some desert wolves, and a lot of other things that want to eat you. See that cactus? That cactus is eyeing you down right now. If I was on the ground, that thing would start poking the crap out of me. So... I personally travel the magic carpet ride unless you have a house here, but it's pretty decent. It's not that hard. The goats. Yeah, you might die from goats. You want to be the guy remembered in RuneScape that died from goats? No, you don't. So, don't do it. Don't die from goats. So we're back at Polynevic, and you continue blackjacking. So that's how you blackjack. Now I want to show you guys, you know, the levels you need. I already told you mostly, but the XP rates for hour, the GP an hour, that's what you really are interested in probably. You're probably not wanting to hear me talk anymore, so I'm going to leave now, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys will now watch the ending where I show the XP rates and the GP. If you like this video and want to see another guide, please comment it down below. I'll try my best. I don't know if I'm good at this, uh, but I'll try it. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all in the game. Peace.